Hello everyone and welcome back to Crossets Gaming. Today we are going to take a look at The Longing. This idle adventure game promises you to baffle you with its strange concept and great atmosphere. Whether it can deliver on its promise is the question we will try to answer today. The Longing is available on Steam for €14.99, your regional equivalent. A good friend is someone you treasure especially when you are in need. And while playing The Longing, I felt like I was part of a particular Czech myth. The myth of Blanitsa Knights. They are said to be waiting for when the Czech people will have it the worst, and once that happens, they will ride to help them. In The Longing, this is sort of similar. You are just standing and waiting to help, until the sleeping king awakens. So, we need to make a few things straight. The developer of the game, Studio Suves, were inspired by the Kips Hoistler legend. This legend is very similar to the checkmate I mentioned a second ago. It tells the story of King Barbarossa, but instead of him dying, it is said he sleeps in the Kip Hoistler highlands, where he waits for the time of need when he will return and help his people. But let's go away from the history lessons and get back to the game. You play as a shade who serves the king. The king's power has been spent and he needs to sleep to regain his power. For exactly 400 days. 400 real days. Your goal is to wait for this much time and awaken the king. So you've got a lot of time and only a single thing you must do or more specifically, a thing you mustn't do. Leave the caverns under the mountain. So essentially, it's all about the fact that someone tells you what you cannot do and you must keep yourself from doing it. So what will you do for the long 400 days? What activities will keep you occupied? There are no roller coasters to ride, no buggies to race, in reality, it's all quite mundane. In your humble boat, you will get to draw and even put the drawing onto your wall. Sit in a chair to think and even read. The Moby Dick is seriously waiting for you in the game to read, so if you haven't read it yet, this might just be your chance. Otherwise, you just wander to caverns, walk up and down a lot of stairs, and just discover everything that is hiding in the king's underground. You don't have to rush, remember, you have 400 real days to discover everything. So walk slowly. And this is essentially the main theme of the game, slowness. And honestly, I think no matter how often you are to unconventional ideas and genres, here boredom will just eventually appear. On the other hand, it gives you a lot of time to do real stuff. If you find a door that is slow to open, you can open Facebook, talk to your friends, make a cup of coffee, read about what is new in the world, and put your kids to bed. Then take a look if the door has maybe opened. If not, well, who cares? Just go to sleep and check in the morning. And if the character says the door will take two days to open, you will need two real days. So turn off the game and return to it in two days. The only real reason to keep the game open and playing it is to keep your little buddy happy, because when the game is shut down, he gets lonely and depressed, and when you play, he will become more optimistic and less lonely. Honestly, this aspect reminds me of Tamagotchis. Remember those? Okay, I need to come clean. There is a way to speed things up. The more time you spend making your room better, the faster time flows. Maybe the authors are sort of trying to create this metaphor for time flowing slower when you're lonely, bored and depressed, while it just seems to fly by when you're surrounded by your friends and doing something fun. But in conclusion, the longing is certainly something new, and it is certainly a piece of electronic art. But for your average player, well, it is a teeny bit too slow. The concept itself is quite intriguing. I honestly would love to see it done on a smaller scale. Maybe 
30 real days of waiting would be more easily digested by our average player, but 400 is too much. Especially for a fairly high price. But if you like interesting concepts and are willing to wait, this might be your new game. So that's it for today guys. I hope you liked the review and if you did please consider upvoting the review and subscribing to the channel and be sure to share it with your friends and comment if you have anything you would like to add. See you guys later with more gaming content.